What happened to some uh, ex Danny's? I'm uh, not supposed to be here. I already seen it. Hey, Hitler. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that a name for you? It's the Danny Brown Show. Sit back, relax your eye. Ready now. Why your mates do the yows? It's the Danny Brown Show. We about to get live. Let's go. Let's go. It's the Danny Brown Show. Sit back, relax your eye. Ready now. Why your mates do the yows? It's the Danny Brown Show. We about to get live. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, 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 what's up, motherfuckers? God damn it, you did it again. They said you can't cuss in like the first couple seconds of YouTube. You ain't gonna get no money. I, don't, I already know. Why I made demonetize? Them niggas been demonetized for like five years running and counting. But yo, shouts out y'all motherfuckers, man. It's the Denny Brown Show, live from Wild May Studios in Austin, Texas. I got the motherfucking Booth Boys with me. Yo. What up, you man? already know. We got in the dive in this motherfucker. You already know. Uh, What's oh, up, yeah. dude? I got these niggas working on their day off. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas is hot. Chad's yeah. supposed to go to Muay Thai class today. Yeah, I already what the know. Hell? You miss Muay Thai today. <laughs> motherfucking Zolo. I already know Zolo has some, 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 some freaky shit going on with his shit. <laughs> He a, he, a, he a young, thriving, um, he's a testosterone. He the only nigga got the high testosterone in here naturally. What the fuck? For real? Yeah. <laughs> Lolo. He just got that shit, man, protruding to his body, man. He can't help it, man. He just, he got to get a bitch, man. He's got to get a, on Saturday, he like, it's Saturday? Y'all niggas want me to go? Who, who put this together to make Zolo work on a Saturday? He know this nigga's supposed to be on 6th Street. Y'all remember, last time I saw y'all niggas, uh, we was on 6th Street. Uh, I kept getting kicked out of every bar we went to. <laughs> that was a fun day. <laughs> why? All right, well, we'll tell you why. I'm sorry. Uh, I got to introduce my guest in this motherfucker, no. man. Shouts out to one of my favorite uh, comedians in this motherfucker, Shane Gillis up in this bitch. Hello. How it's are you? It's an honor to have you up in this motherfucker, man. But yeah, man, we uh, it was the Wild Mitch Christmas party. <laughs> You know me, I start hitting it. I start hitting it hard. Yeah. I start hitting the brown hard. I'm hitting it hard. I'm hitting it hard. I'm hitting it hard. And my girl, she wanted to go home. I mean, you know, we were supposed to go home and have a pleasant day. But then Zolo was like, we about to go hit a few bars. I'm like, oh, dude, stay out. No, yeah. my 40-year-old ass don't need to be doing shit but going home. Why? But I can't help it. No, you got to go out. But no, I couldn't help it. My girl even met. I, yeah. I, I told her, get, the, get out of here. Get, go home. I'm hanging with the homies. I don't even remember what I was doing. I was getting kicked out of every bar <laughs> we went to. Like everything. That's what I'm saying. I said that to say last thing I remember, man, we got kicked out of some bar. And um I was just out front just just feeling distressed. All I could see was just Zolo, just in the wind. Like it was like uh, <laughs> he yeah. got the fuck away from me. It's tough to get kicked out on Sixth Street. <laughs> Sixth Street, that's impressive, getting kicked out of a bar. In the daytime. Oh. We like 2 p.m. Dude, there's for real homeless dudes walking into those bars. It's like 2 p.m. Niggas yeah. is not fucking with the boy, man. I watched a lady get kicked out last night of a bar. What'd she do? It was it was insane. She was just she actually like she came and sat next to me and my friend <clears throat> and she looked like just I saw her from my periphery and she looked she looked hot, but she sat down and started like punching my friend's back. Ooh. And he thought love taps. He didn't know. He thought it, she was being like flirtatious, but that I could. Is, I, 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 thought that was <clears throat> I could see her, and I knew she was just a fucking demon, dude. She was like, yeah. and then he like tried to touch her back, like reach back, and, and she was like, like, oh, she like, get your fucking heads off me. And I was like, yo, I was like, dude, you got to move. And then I was like, could you please stop hitting my friend? And she she looked at me and goes, well, you're fucking fat. And then, dude, yo. Then she took her tits Can out. Can we hire her? Bro. Can we get book her for a She guess? goes like this. She goes, you're fucking fat. And I was like, what? She goes, flashed her tits, took her tits out, and then put them back. And I was like, your tits are fucking disgusting. Ew, bitch, disgusting tits. And then she goes, I am ugly. I'm sorry. And I was like, I felt terrible. I was like, no, you're not ugly. I'm really sorry about that. And then she proceeded to like, she just took her beer and just went, poured it upside down on the bar and sat it there. A bartender came over and was like, did you spill that? And she was like, no. It was wild, bro. She just sounds like a legend to me. She was Every, a legend. Everything bro. about her just sounds like a walk-in movie, man. Everywhere Showed she, tits, called me fat. And I was just like, damn, just a fucking demon called me fat. If you out there, if you out there, if you see this, man, please, yeah. I would love to book you as a guest on the Denny Brown Show. I really, I really feel like we got a lot in common. 
I really feel like we, we can jail. <laughs> like, it's something about We might just start a podcast together, man. You know what I'm saying? And it so, took him a while to kick her out. So getting kicked out here is pretty tough. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, they see a lot. They actually have a... Um, Sixth Street scares me at, at my old age. And yeah. Because I be watching... I got... Y'all ever um, seen this? Um, I think it's like a YouTube channel or maybe a, something. But Sixth Street Fights. Yeah, I was watching it last night. It updates constantly. Constantly. <laughs> It's like non-stop. how many fights happen on six? It, it never stops. There was like, one I saw live. Oh, I watched it happen, and then I got home, and it was up. I was like, shit. "Damn, that's pretty cool." I mean, anyway, yeah. I'll shut up. To monetize, no, no. To monetize this shit is amazing, though. Type of nigga, how you out here on the streets? Like, I'm just trying to see that's your hustle. Like, I, I saw go. a tow truck driver. You'll, it'll be up there. I'm just saying. Imagine this being your YouTube channel. Like every day, that's your grind. I wake up and I'm thinking, like, man, I'm about to go on Sixth Street and record some fights. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It ain't about. It, it, it's, it, it, to me, this nigga hustle is crazy. So he be just walking around on Sixth Street, man. Like it's dead tonight. Ain't nobody getting their ass whooped. Yeah, he got mean, his camera. He pissed off. Like it's dead tonight. Sixth Street is Grand Theft Auto. Like you'll walk down and you'll hear like Grand Theft Auto character statements. Like I walked by and this oh, lady, yeah. this oh, lady was like, I don't need like- a fucking caseworker. I'm gonna start selling drugs right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept walking. Oh, it's I was definitely like, like some NBC shit yeah. going down. The crazy shit though, if you see Sixth Street when it's cracking, is is like you know, it's, it's like a, a a bourbon street with debauchery. Yeah. But if you ever been when it's dead, that's when I think you get the real full essence of it. Like yeah, I yeah, went yeah. to Sixth Street on like a Tuesday night, like soon as it started getting dark, I seen like three fights with like homeless motherfuckers cracking, like in like. 15 minutes of just being there. I went and bought a cigarette. I went and bought a pack of cigarettes. Dan got into a fight in the motherfucking store. Of course. Like, yeah, like it just was like. So I really feel like, you know, the weekends, that's when it's like the touristy. That's when it's having a good time. But if you're a real Sabbath, Sixth Street during like the dead weekday shit, that's when you're going to really get the realness of it. I don't fuck with that shit, man. I'm, I, that's why yeah. I moved up north. The worst is when you're walking down Sixth Street and you catch one of those alleys. Like you can see an alley where there's like 20 fucking and they dudes. And they're smoking crack. Everyone walking meth, around. Just, oh, yeah. Man. That's like the um the back alley. I feel like that um what's that Antones? That motherfucker man on a late night. That and oh man, all them alleys, man. What were we talking yeah. about? The alley over here. These niggas stole a cigarette. They stole a uh, <laughs> <laughs> they stole a cigarette ashtray, man, on this motherfucker, man. So shit, <laughs> niggas don't give. But hey, man, <laughs> glad to have you in this motherfucker. Like I said, yeah. Iron Man, been a huge fan of your shit. You remember the first time we met? Um, yeah. at the stand in New York. Yeah, it was shit face. And I came up and I was Me like, too. I like, I love your music, man. I was, I was, it's actually really embarrassing. No. I was like, I was getting fired from SNL. <laughs> your music was like an inspiration to me. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. No, I was fucked I was up truly right with you. you didn't remember that. No, I was fucked up right with you. Yeah. No, I only think I remember about that because um, that was like when the whole SNL shit thing was going yeah. down. And I think uh, that's why I was like, this nigga the truth because. You called us the black table. <laughs> that's, like, fuck, that's not great. I was getting accused of being racist. So I was like, what's this? The black, no, I was like, this the black don't table? Stop. I'm like, he don't stop. Like, even in the face. He like, even in the face of the fire, man. He still threw a flaze, man. Like, I fucks with this nigga. That's what I really, because to me, man, I, I get it, man. Like, a lot of this shit, man, edgy humor is edgy humor. It is what it is, man. And at the end of the day, man, once you start trying to censor comedian, man, you're going to, you're not going to get funny shit. Yeah. That's how it is with rap music. I feel like, Rappers get away with a lot of shit motherfuckers don't post to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, think if Biggie lived in this generation, man. <laughs> you hear, if you can listen to some old Biggie music, man. Yeah. Like, it's the <laughs> creepiest shit yeah, in the like world, kidnapping man. Kidnapping children. Bro, <laughs> like, <laughs> even when he's just trying to be smooth and hollering at a bitch, yeah. you're like, oh, no, this is creepy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is creepy. Like, an average Biggie song, man. Like, oh, man. I, but I, I love it, but. It didn't age well in this day and age of cancel culture and all that. No. Uh, Shouts out to um, Biggie Smalls, though. (laughs) Him just getting head. That's like an interlude in an album. You look so good. I suck on your daddy's dick. (laughs) Even though that was a um, even though that was a Richard Pryor joke. Mm. You look so good. I suck on your daddy's dick. It's, It's crazy, right now. No, the craziest too, man. He was just. I got mad friends with Benzes, like. Just all type of shit, man. That's what he walked up. And I got a story to tell. Oh yeah, that was about Anthony. I mean, that's Mason. like a, that's like a really fucked up thing he did. Did you know that? <laughs> no, but that's like a really. Fucked but did you up... know that? That's who that was. No, about. they pinpointed which player it was. Yeah, it was Anthony Mason. <sighs> and Anthony Mason is a scary motherfucker. That's a real man. bummer for Anthony Mason that it came out. 
I mean, but know. Biggie was dead at the time. As True, he did win the war. Up. All right, man, we'll hop into some uh, <laughs> Animation won the war, dude. We'll hop into some uh, Ask Danny. Dog, you know, you know how I realized I was fucked up. I mean, I, God damn it, this just really jumped in my head. But um, it's like a thing, man, where, um, you know, white boys, they be like, man, niggas, the, the white bitches niggas be liking, like, we'll never touch them hoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a thing. No, I don't. And I get it. And I and I get that shit like cause niggas will fuck fat white bitches and niggas will fuck all type of bitches, but I really figured out I got a crush on a Theranos bitch, man. <laughs> I started watching. I went down a Theranos rabbit hole. You you know about know the what, Theranos bitch? No. Like, like, What's Theranos? <laughs> the Theranos bitch, man. So yeah, the bitch tried to. Uh, you don't know about this shit? Oh yes, yeah. I mean. But now she kind of hot to me. Terrifying! Look at those eyes, dude. But see, that's what she. Now she look like. That's what I'm talking about. She one of them type of white bitches. The white niggas ain't fucking with this bitch. But a nigga like, I hit the jackpot. Look yeah, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you're exactly right. A <laughs> nigga like, I hit the old ball. Look at this bitch. She getting money. The bitch doing blood transfusion She's just lying. shit. All right, <laughs> just lying to everyone. Shouts out my nigga Cyrex. Oh, we gonna get into this. All right. It started with you, man. I can't. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Ask Danny. I'm uh, not supposed to be here. I already seen it. Hey, Hitler. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that a name for you? I've been seeing this girl. Oh, that's a wild mace thing. This is just a, um, right, you know, right. That's a wild mace thing. All right. I've been seeing this girl for a couple months, and by seeing, I mean I've been taking 10 to 12 Benadryls and showing her that i coming these balls. <laughs> Just a strictly physical relationship. But over these last few weeks, she's developed feelings for me, and I don't feel the same. As a matter of fact, I've been seeing someone else, and I have feelings for her. And now, I want to break it off with the on-again, off-again cum dog. Problem is, she low-key crazy and probably want to snitch to the girl I'm dating for the long haul and ruin what we got going on if I tell her I have feelings for someone else. What can I tell her that will let her down easy, lower her suspicious, so I can be free with the girl I want? Piss on me, beat me. You bet I'm coming up in May. Young Rizzy from Temple, Texas. Love to show up and watch this episode one with Dry to Austin to see you do stand-up. See, your mama always talk about me doing stand up. I'm gonna tell you why I don't do stand up. Is this nigga sitting next to me right nah, now? Nah, you gotta get up I there. I swear to God, man. I mean, only reason why I gotta get up there because I'd be a bitch ass nigga if I don't. Because <laughs> everybody telling me, he's like, you gotta try and figure it out. I'm doing spot tonight. No, I just literally figured out how to write. But hold up, we're gonna get back to cuz. And uh, at the end of the day, I think you're thinking too hard about this whole situation. It sounds like to me, you're just fucking with nasty bitches. So they don't care if you um, ghost them. That's one thing about fucking with nasty bitches. Um, see, what get niggas canceled and all that shit, motherfuckers be on the road and doing all they fucking with normie bitches, man. You have to see, they got, but what that is, they got morals and ethics and they just probably couldn't fuck an ugly fat bitch or some shit like that. You got to fuck a bitch <laughs> that's happy you even fucking with her when you know you're doing wrong. Yeah. And she ain't going to say shit. She's going to keep that to herself because she's going to feel privileged that she was even graced with your presence. Yeah, she's a cum dog. Cum dog? <laughs> I mean, cum dog is... Now, you trying to fuck with regular bitches? Hoes go to motherfucking... Is uh, that... I'm sorry to interrupt. Is that a 10 to 12 Benadryl? Is that like a theme? No, that's a thing. That's a YMH thing. Oh, 10 right, to 12 Benadryl. Right. I was going to say, this guy's taking 10 no, Benadryl. No, no, no. That's a, that's a YMH <laughs> that's callback. unstoppable. No, but Tenet Drill Benadryl is crazy though, man. I don't um I don't think he living no more though. No. The Tenet Drill Benadryl guy? I don't he think died. He yeah. Yeah, did he drop? Mm-hmm. Damn. It's confined. Yeah, obviously. He was Rest in peace, Fed my Fed Fed my shit know what I man. The wild mission niggas got bodies. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to start doing like some like uh we gotta do a tribute ceremony, man, for all the wild mace <laughs> like niggas. Fucking Oscars. Yeah, yes. man. <laughs> Ten to twelve Benadryl yeah, guys. Yeah, man. The next the next the next wild mace <laughs> lie, man. We gotta do a rest in peace tribute, man. Cause these <laughs> niggas is falling, man. <laughs> all these niggas, I ain't gonna lie though. I seen crazy locs though. I'm like, damn, I thought this nigga was dead. Yeah, 10 to 12 Benadryl. Oh 
Shane, you never seen this? You gotta run it for him, then. Before you have sex, <laughs> if you wanna be horny for two or three hours like you've never been in your life, and you have access to marijuana too, good weed, listen to me. <sighs> Listen to me. <laughs> True weed alone can get you really hornier than normal, but Benadryl, take about 10, 12 Benadryl before you want to have your sexual fun with your partner or whatever you do or masturbate, all right? Uh, about an hour later when you feel it just kicking in, smoke your weed then. And then go ahead and get horny. And I go ahead and horny. Yeah. Millions and times more. You'll be so blissfully horny that you will not want to come. Trust me, it's better than an orgasm. I've been up for like 48 hours straight before I'm in the room. On my computer watching girl, women wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> women wrestling. See, that's the, you know the fucked up part about me. All my favorite drugs are drugs that make me horny. So, but I never did the 10 or 12 Benadryl because just taking 10 of anything just seems like, man, I'm black, man. Like, niggas ain't going that far, man. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna die. True. Like, you're going to die, man. 10 of anything. We're not taking double digits. Yeah. Maybe 10 bumps. 10 Because you just lose count. Yeah. After a night, you hang it in the kitchen. You go, I'll have one more. What the fuck? Keep arguing about how they fucked up the new Black Panther. Like, oh, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. first one, man. They was really about the black shit. All right. Drugs and acting like a bitch. <laughs> Dear Danny, my name is Pedro. I've grown up around drugs all my life. Now I'm not a bitch about it or anything. That was just never my thing. My brother's fucked up on age. God damn. The age. He finally didn't show up during Christmas. Yeah, nigga. He was nodding out. He always been kind of fucked up <laughs> with the age, but we kind of talked shit out for the past 15 years. Hold up, man. <laughs> He's reached out since, but then not really close to him. Don't want to take him. I'm going to talk to him anymore. Shit's make me feel like a bitch for real. Any other possible about your relationship kind of fix? I mean, you just sound like you got a, a brother on H. I mean, I ain't going to lie, man. My whole family fucked around with the H. You know, um, one of the craziest stories I can tell you. See, my family, my uncle, man, he was like, you know, he was one of them type of niggas, man. He just was about his hustle. Yeah. Fucking with the scrap metals and shit. Yeah. Like hitting them licks and doing that kind of shit. So he was the type of nigga he had the crib where like all the niggas, he only like fucked with the heroin shit, like selling and shit, just to um be able to do it for free for him. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? It, you know, some motherfuckers sell drugs to like make money and no, he was selling drugs just to make his drugs free. <laughs> but this was like the beginning stages. Like they was like, I feel like that was like the first time we heard about fentanyl coming through. One time, him and all his homies, and they they've been doing this shit for over ten years. Yeah, like hanging out, coming to the crib. Everybody, everybody look at him like a doctor. They coming through, getting their shit. Sometimes you ain't got no money, whatever the fuck. But one day they got the fentanyl, and everybody like about six niggas. Imagine about six niggas. They all hitting the pack. Boom, boom. Next thing you know, all these niggas laying on the ground dying. Six niggas in the crib. My uncle, everybody. Boom. My cousin ended up saying, and they end up getting everybody to the hospital, or whatever. Fuck, everybody ended up making it. Wow. The crazy part about that story is that my uncle, he started fucking around with heroin from the military, like being overseas and doing all that shit. You know, that whole story. Yeah. I'm talking about he was like 16, like a teenager type shit when he started fucking around. You know, heroin, they didn't look, they didn't know it was bad back then. You know, yeah. it was probably how we fuck around and do all this type of other shit, you know? So, but his first time fucking that fentanyl shit, no, that, that nigga ain't did heroin ever since. Oh wow! Nigga been super like bro, and that was like I want to say about ten years ago, and so damn. I thought yeah. you usually that results in them being like, no, Yo, what was that's that? Because that's what I'm saying. He been doing it ever since the but like the real days of it, like being in yeah. war and shit, doing that shit, and then seeing when that shit hit the scene, you like, oh, that was the one. This nigga go to church now. This nigga ain't was had he no in Detroit. Yeah, Detroit. He ain't had no teeth in his mouth. This nigga got a full denture set now. That is scrap heaven, dude. Oh, scrap heaven, yeah. Detroit, yeah, yeah. Those guys got it in all those old factories. You got to scrap everything. Yeah, it's all about copper. Yeah, they all want that copper wiring. You know what I'm saying? I shot, I actually shot a music video of my uncle, the uncle that I'm talking about. His ass was scrapping copper wire in the video. <laughs> I wrote songs about it. We on. I never, to be honest though, motherfuckers think I did that shit before on some crack ass shit. I know I came out and I had missing teeth and shit like that, but yeah. I never scrap metal, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I sell crack. 
heroin. Like I would do, I would sell every fucking drug before I ever would fucking um whatever, man. Yeah, but um I came to the conclusion that I kind of feel like um crack houses are kind of like frat houses. I can see it. A bunch of bros hanging out. It's chilling. We just play jokes on each other different. Yeah. One of our favorite jokes we had in the crack house, <laughs> a bunch of guys, we hanging out. We'll find the nastiest crackhead because you're never supposed to fall asleep. If you're in here, you got to stay in here. You got to be up. House. I'm saying you got to be up. You got to be about your shit. You got to be on your P's and Q's. So if you will fall asleep, we'll just find the nastiest crackhead prostitute and, huh. and, and make her suck your dick while you sleep. <laughs> that's a that's crazy the prank we play. <laughs> yeah, that's the pranks we play. <laughs> That's a wild prank. Every time they played that prank on me, I just fake sleep. <laughs> they just come. Like, uh, uh, and just roll back over and go to sleep. <laughs> Niggas stop playing that prank on me because they like, I think he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing worse when you do it to it like a motherfucker that just, you know, there's certain guys that they're just not about that kind of debauchery, man. No. They just here to sell drugs, make their money, man. They got a kid to take care of, man. They ain't got time for this type of foolishness. But, man, you can't be falling asleep in the spot. We was lucky though, man. I'm talking about this was like Dreamcast days. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be playing Power Stone. That's nice. Dreamcast was crazy. And you you said some guys would I'm wake playing up. playing Power Stone, <laughs> selling stone. And guys would wake up to a wake up to a toothless crackhead. Just a trying nightmare. To suck your a dick. true nightmare. <laughs> true. Bro, that's that's for real evil. I'm saying. <laughs> that's, <laughs> they be doing all type of crazy hazing. I, th I thought about that because I was watching this um, documentary on, I think it's on Hulu, one of them about um, frat house hazing motherfuckers. Yeah. How many motherfuckers been getting fucked up during that shit? It was like all type of. Yeah, it's usually I'm something. I'm like, oh, that's white people shit. Yeah, that's usually something gay. But then I thought about it like, but frat house is kind of like cracker. That's kind of gay. Why are you going to make a crackhead suck a nigga dick? Why are you trying to get a nigga dick sucked? True. Mind your own True. dick. Yeah, Mind your gay. own dick. How did this start? Yeah. That's how we play yeah. gay shit on each other. You're game. making a guy come. But yeah, you are, yeah. But then they get fucked up when the nigga like it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I was just, I just, I fake sleep. <laughs> For real. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> All right. You gotta, hold in, you gotta hold in the moans while you're trying to sleep. Mm -hmm. They just see you just uh, shake like, oh shit! Uh, <laughs> uh. Then I roll over, act like ain't nothing happened. You don't talk about it in the morning. I won't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we all keep it to yourself. All right. My wife doesn't want me to rap. Hey, I'm telling you right now. I don't even got to read the rest of this shit. But if she don't want you to rap, you probably shouldn't be rapping. But yeah. uh, be, uh, You're supposed to be your staunchest supporter, bro. <laughs> if the one person that's probably ever heard you rap is probably like, you should not do it. At this age, let me tell you. Right. Let me finish. Hey, Danny Brown, hope you, hope hope you and yours are well. I'm thirty three year old chef from a small town in North Carolina. I love my job, my wife, and my life. Never been too bad where I regret much. However, I've been rapping since ninety eight. Pursued it with everything in my heart for many years before I meet my wife. Touring small bars, selling tapes, battling, couch surfing studios, a real journeyman, if you will. She's a counselor at a domestic violence shelter and didn't agree with my transient lifestyle and drug field lyrics so I respectfully let my dreams die because I'm a sucker for everything she is I still write and all my homies still bother the shit out of me to continue to make music I feel too old, too white and to be honest my style isn't what these youngers are into but truth be told I know my shit's dope how much of a cornball move would it be to give it one last try before I hang it up sincerely cold see the thing is about rap music I feel like it's almost like um, in this day and age it almost was like what basketball was when I was coming up. Everybody played it. Yeah. Doesn't mean you're going to go to the league. So if you love to do it, and it's really like a hobby of yours, still make music. No one's saying you have to fucking um, go platinum and sell records and do all this and tour and this <laughs> and that. I mean, if you want to be that, if you want rapping as a career, then yeah, it's a lot of shit has changed. And it's some bullshit you're going to have to go through. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing with comedy. You get what yeah. I'm saying? It shit changed. You get what I'm saying? I'm sorry. What us old niggas used to like, shit ain't what's cracking right now. But to say that is that it's still old niggas that listen to old nigga shit. So it's still a fan base for everything. It's still a market for everything. Just... I don't think you're going to be making it to the uh, Billboard Awards anytime soon. Yeah. Uh, being a Grammy Award winning artist. But if you still love to make music, 
why not fucking just make music and still do it, you know, have fun with it, man? What the fuck? Look yeah. at me. You asking a nigga. I ain't had one hit so. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't what, well, I, see, I always be talking shit about myself like that. I have done good for myself based on um, the cars that was dealt to me. You get what I'm saying? I knew who you were, and I was a mechanic's freak. That's how I look up to you, man. Like yeah. a nigga like you, like, because even like with the whole SNL shit, like a motherfucker be like, man, that'd be a type of shit like, like really inspiring to me. When a motherfucker like some shit like motherfucker like, oh man, it's over, bro. But then this nigga get more cracking than it ever been. <laughs> yeah. After some shit like that. You get what I'm saying? So it's like it's never over, man. That's yeah. like my favorite like artist like LP, like motherfuckers like that. So like even me with rapping, I'm fucking I'm about to be fucking forty two years old. It's like what the fuck am I still doing? Why am I like what the Why fuck? Why not? But then I still look up to people that I look up to and at the end of the day, you know what I really feel like? It's not my talent. It's a guy giving. It's not me to say when to top, when to stop. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if I'm still able in my brain, and I'm still able to hear shit, and I'm still able to fucking do it, then I should be fucking doing it because it was never mine to fucking. You get what I'm saying? If I can make people happy and people still love to hear me, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, of so course. Fucking, that's the thing I think about it. So I would say at the end of the day, man, stop worrying about what. This is what's happening with rap music and why shit's going bad, and probably. And everything in general. All these old niggas is too much in these young niggas' business, man. If you don't care about the music they make, if you don't care about the type of style of comedy they do, stop worrying about them, man. Do what the fuck you got to do and mind your own business and cater to your fans. Stop being mad that it's new shit and it's young niggas going to like new shit, man. That's all it is, man. I don't give a fuck. I like some of the young shit and then some of the shit I be like, oh, this dumb. I mean, most of it I know it's fucking dumb. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But that's the same shit old niggas said about us. You remember when I fucking came in the game? I was fucking, nigga, they hated me because of the fucking same shit. I wore fucking tight ass pants. I, I, <laughs> I had a missing tooth. I had a fucking perm with a swoop to the side. Yeah. I was, I, I, I looked like um, somebody you didn't want to talk to. I mean, not for the right reason. You know what I mean? You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The next is a transitional period. Yo, what up, Danny and the Booth boys? This is the question for all y'all. So I'm at the last semester of college. I'm at the point in life where I have to decide where I'm going to live and work after school. My question is, how do I make tough decisions in life? So I, what this this nigga asking me? <laughs> what is the question? How do you make tough decisions? I mean, this sounds like something. I'll tell you, this is, no, number one, you don't fucking email a podcast. <laughs> That's not how you do it. So Especially Danny one. Brown podcast. Yeah, yeah. Like, like Rogan <laughs> might could have helped you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Danny Brown, what the fuck am I gonna tell you, man? Like, um, I've never been to college. College is always like, man, I went to co- I, I I went to college one time. Um, we were doing like fake checks, like scamming. Oh, nice. With college students. Because you know, college students just broke. So yeah, they gotta do anything, like, man. So we was up there, one of my homies, he let us stay in his dorm room. And I'm um, like try to scam college kids and shit. We made it. We made a couple dollars a pip. But only thing about it, I didn't know you couldn't smoke weed in dorm rooms and shit. I thought it was mm. like lit. The RA came. I yeah, they're very it. serious about that. Yeah, it shut down a whole operation. But yeah, that was cool. Y'all niggas dumb though. <laughs> For real. If anybody ever tell you, man, uh, I'm gonna put ten thousand dollars in your account, and you can have a, th- a thousand, then you go for that. But college kids, man, they like, man, $1,000. All right. All my scam niggas know what I'm talking about. All right, past lyrics. <laughs> what, what college was it? I mean, the fact that any of these kids saw you and were like, all right, deal. This is way <laughs> before. <laughs> what the fuck? This is way before any Danny Brown shit. This is community shit. college, dude. No, Eastern Michigan. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yip Slanty? Earl Boykins. Yeah. <laughs> I almost went there for football. For real? Yeah. God damn I it, I wanted man. to go. Eastern Michigan? No, Eastern Michigan yeah. is a good school. Yeah. It's not, uh, niggas go to a league from Eastern Michigan and they like, you know. Is it D1? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the MAC. Uh, that's where it's, it's in. What's up? Uh, it's in where? Eastern Michigan? Ips, Ips- oh, Ips- Lanny. Lanny. Yeah, Ips- yeah. Lanny. It's Lanny gangster, man. All those, that's what's happening right now in Michigan, man. Like Detroit, well, I guess it is. All right. I mean, I, mean, I live in Austin now. I can't be talking about shit I don't know about. All right. <laughs> Past lyrics. What up, Danny? Are there any past lyrics in your catalog that you regret writing or make you cringe whenever you write them out? Like, yeah, 
I will say it is. It's 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 a lot of um. I will say it's a lot of um homophobic slurs mm. and a lot of earlier music like me saying, yeah. you know, that's before we knew it was bad to say that kind yeah. of shit though. So I will say I do feel bad about that because I do know, you know, I have a lot of friends that that shit hurt their feelings type shit. But then they do know that that is like my earlier shit way before I even knew it. Like man, you got to think, man. Um, I got one lyric that I say that that just lets you know, and it, uh, I remember I'm from. I'm from back when Snoop called Luke a Frisco. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? That's pretty, that's pretty I heard funny. You was a Frisco. <laughs> How you call a nigga a Frisco <laughs> in a rap song? You not only just called him like a, a, a homophobic slur in some sense, but then you generalize it to an area. Yeah. Though. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what make it bad. Like, damn, so Frisco is more fucked up than New York. <laughs> like, it's just like, uh, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's no, like, oh, man, that's some fucked up shit. Oh yeah, you seen that Lori Harvey making niggas sign NDAs to fuck? No. That's crazy. Who's doing this? Lori Harvey, Steve Harvey daughter. She's a bad bitch though. She's making people sign NDAs and she's fucking them? I mean, like, like um, she only fucking with like high class. Um she thinks she with the nigga from Snowfall or not. But yeah. Oh yeah, she was with this nigga, Michael B. Jordan, for a minute. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I never even have heard of this person. But this is Steve Harvey's daughter? Yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing that'll fuck me up. I ain't trying to fuck around with no Steve Harvey daughter because I don't want to meet that nigga. Can you imagine trying to hang out with that nigga, trying to convince this nigga that you, that you cool enough to fuck his daughter? I ain't got time for that. <laughs> but she's pretty. Yeah, he's hilarious. But that's how ill she is. She's making niggas sign NDAs to fuck. My whole shit is, that'd be the one thing, that'd be my deal breaker, man. I don't give a fuck how good you look, man. I, I, I got to tell the homies. <laughs> Yeah, I got to tell the homies, man. Yeah, I fuck no Steve way. Harvey's daughter, bro. It's no way, like, cause did I really fuck if if I didn't tell the homies? Like, I don't get that. Yeah, it's like bitches a, do the same shit too. They talk way more than us. You gotta tell. It's like if a tree fell in the woods. Look, Louis Harvey was fucking around with Diddy. Imagine being Eskimo brothers with Diddy. <laughs> oh, you gotta fuck a lot of niggas for that. But hold on, all right. Well, that was all that was. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right, man. Pump it up, doggy. Drugs and acting like a bitch. <laughs> Dear Danny. <laughs> Everyone's, everyone is being a bitch. That's it. They're all like, uh, I'm not trying to be a bitch about this, but my brother's addicted to heroin and I'm having a tough time. It's like, you're not being a bitch, dude. That is hard. Don't worry. Oh, we read this one. <laughs> oh, is that that one? Yeah. Oh, that was all though? Oh, yeah. Yeah. My bad. I'm sorry. The heroin, the, that's a tough one, though. It's tough to, because by the time they're 15 years on heroin, you probably hate that fucking guy. Heroin is just a uh, um, big deal anyway. Yeah. Any motherfucker that, um, like I said, my whole man, that shit just, if it's one thing, I mean, just watching them growing up being around that shit, man, if it was one drug, and, I, and I'm an experimental ass motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? But if it was one drug I knew, it was like, man, that shit and crack. I've just yeah. never ever touch. You know what I'm saying? But some new shit will come out tomorrow. I might try. No, I ain't gonna lie, man. I be saying like watching like videos like Flocka. Yeah. Oh, uh, Flocka compilations and fucking like that's the only drugs that I don't really ever want to fuck with. Like PCP, like shit that gonna make no. you get butt naked in public. <laughs> yeah. And, no. And jump head first to police windows. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's the drugs I don't want. You that's know what a I'm good saying? day though. While you're doing it, that must be fucking nuts. No, dude. not like the what was the one rapper man? He um. Fucking with PCP, he ended up chopped his bitch up. Mm. That's a tough hangover. Lurch, big lurch. Yeah, we ain't we ain't about to go down that rabbit hole. Big lurch, man. Yeah, hey, that's fucked up too. Well, me being big from, lurch chopped up a lady. Man, ate the bitch. <laughs> the perfect crime. <laughs> ate the bitch, man. <laughs> big lurch. Big lurch did some crazy shit, man. I used to listen to that, man. Growing up, I just think. See, that's that. Yes, that's the thing. Same shit we, we was talking about earlier. Like just shock value, yeah, in some sense. And I feel like I used to listen to a lot of that rap music for shock value purpose. Even with a lot of the rap songs that I made, I would say shit in it, shock value purpose. Like even with you, you know, you say sometimes like it's shock value. Motherfuckers laugh at this shit. You don't necessarily fucking yeah, of feel course. that way. Mean that way. You just know the shit funny to say. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The and lurch was about it, <laughs> bro. That's the thing. Have you ever heard Gangsta Nip? I'm disgusting. No. Oh my god. It's one of the, bro. And I used to listen to that as a teenager. 
Yeah. Like everybody in this podcast, they're going to go listen to it, man. Caught a whole name Lynn, about a quarter to 10. Got to her house at 10 15. She was eating her best friend. Sucked it so good, left her jaw cracked. Tell her mama to go and get your nasty ass drawers back. I'm disgusted. <laughs> Imagine that 13. That was stand up to me. Yeah. That shit was hilarious. Yeah. I, mean, I wasn't even getting pussy then. <laughs> shit like that was like, oh my God. This nigga is hilarious. <laughs> he had one bird talking about a bitch jacking off on a bus. Oh, there's so much shit, man. I love Gangsta Nip, man. Gangsta Nip, I'm disgusting. I fuck your bitch in the shed. <laughs> 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 and I start tripping out her head. All right. I want to know if you can offer. Oh, this is white people shit. Oh, nice. White people shit. I know his favorite topic. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know if you can offer any insights to this. Is it a white people thing to approach dangerous wild animals? <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Um, there's a lot of videos online of white folks being charged by bison or elk in national parks. I live in Alaska where they get closer to bears and moose in order to get a picture. Have white people been conditioned to think they shouldn't be scared of wild animals? Big fan of the podcast. Keep it high and tight. Uh, mm. yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm, me. I'm scared of animals, but I think a lot of those people getting hit by bison and shit at national parks are Asians also. <laughs> so... They're in there too. God damn it, man. But <laughs> you know, quit. they uh No, I don't know, man. Um, it looks like it every single all time. Right. Now from from a nigga perspective. Yeah. From a young G's perspective. Um, yeah. Niggas ain't fucking with uh the nothing that looks like you can't shoot it once and it's gonna die. I feel like that's the whole premise of that. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like a nigga will fight a dog. We see a dog attacking a bitch. Yeah, a nigga walk up and kick that bitch because we know if we got a gun, we can shoot this dog at a die. But if you see a bear attacking a bitch, the bitch is dead. Like, niggas ain't jumping in no fights. Yeah. Helping bitches with bears. Like, or like any other. Any you remember other. that video of that lady getting taken by a tiger at a safari? Mm-hmm. I think it was in China, actually. This guy, he's in his car with his girlfriend or wife or whatever. Like one they of those get safaris out, when they walk up to the window yeah, and shit? Yeah, they get out to switch. I don't know why. She gets out of the car. A tiger comes, takes her immediately, and the guy, yeah, he he goes, ah, she's gone. He doesn't even make an effort. My bitch already knows. Yeah, if a tiger gets no, her, it's I'm over. saying she already knows. She ain't even gonna put herself in yeah. that situation, man. She know this nigga right here is a bitch when it comes to some shit like that. If a mouse came in the crib right now, it ain't on me. <laughs> that's one thing I don't fuck with, man. I don't fuck with rodents, man. Like, um, and it, that's crazy that that um, you know, growing up in the hood and shit, cause I, I, I um. We grew up around a lot of um, fast food restaurants. So our neighborhood was like infested with yeah. rats and shit. Like everybody, like it wasn't nothing like you could be ashamed about because everybody at that time around their crib had like rats and shit and all that type of shit. But yeah, man, it was a real stressful way of living, man. <laughs> yeah. Living in a house with fucking infested by mice and rats and shit like that. But we ended up getting snakes. I'll talk about the snakes. I had to confront some animals this past summer. I mean, New York. See, that's why I could never live in New York, man. No, I mean, I was I was at my parents' house, and I, it was late at night. It was in the middle of Pennsylvania, and I heard some like screams from the backyard. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, I've never heard this. I go out, and my cat was surrounded by coyotes. Oh, fuck! And I had to go. I had to go out there. I was like, my heart was pounding. I was like, <laughs> I had to like save the cat, scare him off. I was like, get out of here, coyotes. Get out of here. So, damn, you did a good thing. Yeah, I was scared though. A nigga, they're small dogs. I could have. Attacked. I'm trying to. Th- I'm trying to put myself in them, your shoes. Like I'm trying to think. Like yeah, it was like two in the morning. I don't know coyote moves, man. Like Me I don't either. really like. That was oh, that was hyenas. I was thinking about Lion King. No, hyenas would be a very. I'm like, that'd be a serious. Dang, that's what all I think about when I was like, man, that's Lion King, man. Them hyenas was dangerous. No, you ever get that adrenaline? You got to scream at an animal with. Oh no, I've been like attacked by animals before. Adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been attacked before, man. This yeah. shit is real life, by what? man. A dog. 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 Like, yeah, yeah, dogs. I mean, dogs the... hate you guys. In Detroit. <laughs> dogs fucking hate you guys. Cause it's because of the shit we feed them. These niggas like, man, this nigga giving me spaghetti. He know I can't handle this shit. This shit fucking me up. I'm diarrhea and everywhere. Nigga giving me fucking spaghetti. You giving me corned beef hash and fried in the cabbage. <laughs> Niggas is giving up everything, man. Niggas giving everything. I ain't, I ain't coney dogs and shit, man. This nigga ain't bought dog food one time in this bitch, man. That's how I look at all my dogs. That's my dog boy. Yeah. They always talk to me like, that. man, what's up, man? That's what you got, man. You you coming in this motherfucker, man? You ain't, all you got in this motherfucker. So. <laughs> 
Nigga gave me Taco Bell. Fuck my stomach up. All right. White people shit. Paintballs and airsoft. I don't think that's really white people shit, man. That's just fun shit, man. What are you talking about? Niggas like shooting guns, man. And that's just that's just men shit. Guns. What are you talking about? What up, Danny? First, I just want to say I love your work and appreciate all the music and comedy content you blessed so with. I just went down a rabbit hole watching airsoft videos on YouTube for way too long before I realized it was some top tier white people shit. Grown ass men running around the woods shooting each other for fun. It's only white people in these videos and it does seem like that's the thing only white people do. I'm white though, and I can't lie. Looks like fun. No, nigga. Niggas want to run around the woods and shoot shit too. We just can't afford the gear that comes with that shit. Yeah. That's what it is. If you want to be real airsoft nigga and shoot motherfuckers like that, man, that shit is expensive, man. Check out Chief Keith. Chief Keith changed his whole life. Went from a Chicago nigga pointing guns at police, moving to LA, living in the hills. All he do is fucking airsoft and shoot. Really? He's able to get his shit off. Yeah. Oh, he got his nice. own glory hole airsoft team, all that shit. Glory, glory hole. God damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> Glory boys. Look where my mind at. Look where my mind at. I've only been paintballing once and I didn't participate. I was hung over. It was my friend's bachelor party and he wanted to go paintballing. And I got fucked up the night before and I was like, I'm not running around doing all that. Yeah. But my friends, it was all like white trash dudes. And then they got teamed up with black dudes from Philly. Mm -hmm. And it was great. They all, they united. And they had a great time. I seem like I think that would be fun. Yeah, I think that'd be. It's I actually very. Um, I think that's men shit. I it's truly unfair. It was white trash dudes and black dudes versus like women. Oh, it was it was a massacre. Shoot dude. the bitches in the face. If those two unite, it's over. Shooting them bitches in the face. <laughs> they really fucked them up. It was pretty. It was <laughs> truly, it was pretty fun to watch. Like, <laughs> People were, to play women were screaming. They were screaming. Yeah, that shit hurt. They'd get behind the wall, like from a foot you away. You ever shot with a paintball before? No, that's oh. why I didn't do it. I was like, I'm, oh. I'm not going, dude. I got shot by mistake playing. I shot myself, to be honest, but just playing though. But yeah, um, all right. I'm about to torture you now. You want to see some of these freestyles? Let me hear you bust a freestyle. Sure. Oh yeah, we are gonna um, definitely get some good, good, good shit going here. First up, we got Odie from the Go. What's good, Danny Brown? What's good, Booth Boys? This is Odie from the Go, man. Residing from the 414. I'm from the 773, man, so Midwest stand up. You do things about a three with me. I'm about a four. I'm one step ahead of you niggas, and that's for sure. I want more, but need to find peace for what I have. I switch blade, decapitate niggas, and then I laugh. Brand new whip, work my ass off for the bad. You must be down bad fucking hoes. I been had, just get cash. Focus on being a good dad. I'm liable to hit your BM and that stat. Straight facts, I never fell for the cap. You niggas are super gullible, dying over some cat. The sound of that click clack and make it get back. One false move and now your name on some pack from the basement to different states. Put my name up on the map. Waking up, crack a door, I'm running to the money now. Since I move, people acting funny now. Well, I'm done with the nice guy. Pussy need to cut it out. Odie from the go, man. Signing off. I love y'all. Shout out to Odie from the go, man. Yeah, cook a rap. She goddamn, man. Sometimes I be wanting y'all niggas to, to pick the bad niggas so I can talk shit about them. I can't say nothing bad about cubs, man. Cuz out here trying to make it, man. What I look like hating on another black man busting bars from his car. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll be a straight up hater, man. I was once you, man. So I'm not about to do that, man. But shots out Odie from the go, man. You picked that one, Zolo, huh? I did. Yeah, that was your whole thing. He like, all right, this nigga's pretty good. <laughs> he pretty good. That's how. See? Wait, do you get usually bad ones? I tried to lately, man. I've been getting some 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 chicks. The chicks been what it has been. It be like motherfuckers. They be sending shit in on some on some troll shit, being funny on purpose. You All know, right. saying some bullshit on purpose, which I love. That's really what I love. You got any white freestyles? Oh, all the time. Fire what are you some talking whites, about? dude. All the time. Yeah. Oh, they. Oh, we we've, we've had the M and M's. We got mm -hmm. this guy from last week, T Mac. Denny Brown, Booth oh, yeah. Boys, what up? Oh, Say my verses military. are fatter, but I'm mad at you acting nervous. You the worst on the track, and that's for damn sure. If you be purposely capping to pull up in the black suburban, cut it up fast. Take my ass trap it and back, and that's for sure. Just because I'm sure I'll put you dirt in the skirt. He is. Clapping it, working it, better run fast like these crackheads jacking the purses with the cash, dip it fast, and that's for certain. Hit up the dope man first, and got to make sure we got the perks in. Cop the third D's and he's skirting. T Mac for sure putting work in, jerking on our skirts. Same once you go to church, and no cap, never hold back. 
a dough trying to hold that blunt robe with the whole pack. He could rap though. Toes just, like with a blow at. So no, yo, not for your nose. That's a whole different thing. Gotta know that. Not talking about the coke. Talking about these lines up in my notepad. You were so trash. Make me so mad. Make me want to leave you with a toe tag. You can quote that. Spent like four racks on that hose ass. Wrote that in my notes app. Throw it on a beat and it's gonna slap. Oh, you want to come through, but you can't come like you want some Prozac. Boot boys, Danny Brown. You're where my bros at. Is that a thing? You can't come when you take Prozac? Yeah. But your dick still get hard? According to Dr. Drew, yeah. It makes you, I mean, your dick can still get hard, you just can't come. Yeah, it's like a delayed ejaculation. Mm. Mm. Which sounds like something I need to be trying out. Because <laughs> I don't know what this thing is. That the, the older I'm getting, man, my dick is sensitive. It's like, I can't. That's good. I, I, I'm not, you got to speed up the process. I'm ready to just get it get it done. I don't know, man. It's the only athletic thing I do. Oh. So I feel like you know I, I got every I'm not time doing I get shit the fuck is like <laughs> <laughs> Like I put my Fitbit on. You know what oh, I'm yeah? saying? I put the heart the heart rate shit across my chest. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I time my shit. Like if I feel like if I fuck three times a week, I don't gotta work out. True. Eat good, fuck three times a week. You don't never gotta work out. <laughs> That's what I was trying to tell Rogan, man. He ain't get it. I'm like, bro, you could be skinny, man. If you just, you know, eat once a day, fuck three times a week, do mad drugs and shit. Oh, whatever. What are we talking about? <laughs> I'm telling y'all this, man. I'm, I'm, I'm deleting TikTok off my phone for sure. It's tracking your algorithm too crazy because, um, I mean, you know, I do, I do my thing. I be watching my little freakiness on my, my phone every now and then. Now, every time I cut on, um, TikTok, I'm getting um, no fat and, and how to quit porn videos and oh, all this type no. of shit. So I'm like, what is they? What is tracking me? What is? How did this come? What do they know that I'm doing? You know what I'm saying? So I don't like that shit. Yeah, horny algorithm. I, I mean, I, I, I'm trying to get it there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked up. I you have... gotta just send videos. That's how it changes your algorithm. Oh. <clears throat> if you share a video with someone. Like I just send my friend cat videos every day. And then you now my algorithm is just cat videos. It's pretty nice. No, the horny videos were getting out of control, dude. On TikTok? Yeah. Oh, I was getting. It was like college girls. All of a sudden, I'm looking at them, I'm like Jesus Christ, is this how old? All I got. How is, old are these women? All I got is muscle bitches. Oh really? These bitches doing deadlifts and shit. It's kind of actually nice. I love it. Yeah, that, that is that nice, dude. Like, that shit is it's hot. I don't know. I'm like, man, goddamn, man. I'm good gay for a bitch with muscles, man. So yeah, man, uh, I know you fuck with the FIFA. Video game reviews. Yeah. Yeah, man, last time that you created, it had, it had just dropped, man. How you liking yeah. this new one? I don't like it. Oh. I, it's my least favorite one. Really? Yeah. What's wrong? I don't know. It's score too easily. Every fucking oh, game's yeah. like six to That's, eight. Yeah, no, I, I've um, definitely kind of um, played, and I play with, I'm, I'm playing with Austin FC. I'm an Austin FC fan now. Oh, nice. I'm out here. I've been to a couple games, so I'm all in, and I'm invested. I went to the playoff. I ain't gonna lie, man, because I, I had, well, I don't really feel like that's a stunt. I was a Pistons um, season ticket holder. <laughs> that's not a stunt. Yeah, we losing like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be leaving at halftime and down there every game. But um, I think one of the funnest times I had is at an Austin FC game. Soccer's and I've been fun, to a fucking, um, I went to fucking Emirates. Fucking, um, oh, really? Arsenal. Yeah. I went and seen them niggas. Yeah, like, that's big fun. Big boy baller shit. It was cold as fuck when I went though. That's mm. the only thing about it. Like niggas bundled up. You had to have gloves on. It was. It was. It, but I, I did have a great time. So yeah. So that's soccer rules, dude. I, I lived in Madrid for a while, and I would go to really? Athletic, Atletico Madrid games constantly. Oh, wow. Shit was awesome. I know they getting racked. The year they bitches. won the league, dude. It was unbelievable. Everybody smokes the whole Singing time in the, the songs stadium. Singing and going crazy. Singing. Everybody had That's sacks what I liked of about wine. it, man. Motherfuckers in that bitch partying. Yeah. Like I get, I get, I, I try to get on the field, like get the closest tickets to the pitch and shit. But I want to be in a section where the motherfuckers is partying at. Yeah. Niggas throwing flares, singing the songs and shit. Like I don't know, man. That that shit was fun to me. So, yeah, I went to a um, couple playoff games. But yeah, so uh, yeah, it is. Uh, Soccer's fun. Man. It is too easy to score. In the new FIFA, and, yeah. And but they saying this is the last one from EA, right? Yeah, I think with FIFA, yeah. So um, hopefully another publisher gonna pick it up. I mean, we had uh, I never really pro Evo. No, I never played. it. I never was a pro. That's Europe motherfuckers love that shit. They do. I never really was a crazy pro. I I I, I played a few times, man. But what else are you playing? Um, right now I'm at the end of Cyberpunk. 
And yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm kind of over this story, man. Fuck Johnny Silverhands, man. Keanu Reeves, man. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Why is you? I feel like it's him kind of ruined the game a little bit. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, man. If it had just been just a regular nigga, that, that would have been the character to been doing. I don't think I'd be this irritated as I am with this nigga, but I'm kind of over this fucking, um, I'm kind of over um cyberpunk at this point, but um, yeah, um, I'm playing Red Dead again right now. That's a good. Um, it's fun, but all you do is every mission you gotta ride your horse for fucking twenty minutes. Only thing I really feel like they really <laughs> dropped the ball with Red Dead Online. I really feel yeah. like it'd have been so cool to be like having like your own posse's crew of cowboys, even with like the same shit that's going on in Grand Theft Auto right now. I'd rather do that shit in Red Dead. You know? Oh, but we'll be up out of here in a minute, man. Um. I'll drop a history lesson for y'all niggas, though. Um, let history. This nigga named Reggie Harden. He was a um, professional basketball player. Um, actually played for the Pistons. This nigga was, he was the first NBA player to go to the league without college because his grades were so bad in high school. <laughs> now, the reason why I'm talking about this nigga because even before... He went to college, uh, the NBA, and it, nigga one of the Supremes on Woodward. <laughs> Florence Ballard. He one of the Supremes in 1960. Way before she was Supreme with Diana Ross, and it ended up fucking her life up. She began, had a long life of drug juice and all that shit. But this nigga, he, and they let him in the league after that. Played for the Pistons. Um, was it, was it, is it confirmed he did that? Yeah, confirmed. Got, like, so convicted? then a nigga, um, so then he went to the league and shit. He was like, like I said, his grades were so bad, they wouldn't even let the nigga, he couldn't go to no colleges, but some type of way to finesse it and let him in the league. So he was end up being the first NBA player straight out of high school by default on some type of situation. But then when he was in the league, the nigga was, he kept a heater on him, kept the gun in his gym bag, <laughs> fighting niggas all the time. Yeah. He was missing flights. The nigga would miss all his flights, all type of shit. Um, the way he got kicked off the pistons, he ended up beating up a police officer. He, be, he he fucked up a police officer. They kicked him out. The, the NBA suspended him, but then he ended up coming back. He played for like a few more teams. Like um, I think he was on the Bulls. He was on the Pacers. But then he ended up. He got addicted to the H. Oh man! The nigga started fucking around with the heroin, and um, a nigga uh shot his ass in the head at thirty. All so right. That's the story of Reggie Harden, first NBA player. Fresh out of high school. I mean, niggas don't know that shit, but he was a Detroit nigga straight from Eastside. The fucked up part about it is that his kids killed niggas. So it was like, damn, is this hereditary? It's just psycho shit in this nigga. He was seven feet and he could rebound. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's he's what a, makes you. He was a seven foot tall. Seven foot. <laughs> That's a big. Bro, dude. he was seven foot and he can rebound. That's why they bypassed all this shit. He the bitch before he got to the league. Why we keep saying on YouTube? I feel like every episode. All right. He I'm killed, doing... he shot himself? No, another nigga shot him. He's beefing oh. with some niggas in the hood. Oh, wow. Nigga smoked him. But yeah, Reggie Harden, shots out the Pistons, man. They know how to draft him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, see, like Jim Bag right there. They saying the pistol was up in that bitch right there. All right, we about to get up out this motherfucker, <laughs> but I'm going to end it on this note. I don't, and I don't want to get this bitch ass nigga no clout, but I'm back on it because it started with uh, Madden Shame. But this nigga right here, Cyrax. <laughs> Yeah, Cyrex. But yeah, uh, I, I know. How's he been doing? Haven't. I, I haven't been following him. Ah, uh, he saw the episode that I did with you guys. Yeah, how I do brought you feel him about it? Talk, oh, he was very pissed. He was very <laughs> upset about that shit. And um, so yeah, me and him, we've been kind of going back and forth ever since. You should have him on. He's a oh. Oh really? Oh yeah, that's right. All right, yeah, I remember feeling bad about this, and then I'm not fucking with that nigga. You said he was a. Oh. The whole shit about it is we doing it for Grandma Sally, man. He living with his grandma. Okay. He's doing all this wild shit. We trying to say grandma. She got her boyfriend Ed living up in there. They want to have some quality time to themselves. But they Cyrex wanna... is in there. Cyrex in there in the alley. <laughs> he in the attic screaming and yelling at motherfucking trolls on YouTube doing all this nasty shit. I mean, the newest shit right now that we got going on, I can show you guys this. Come on, pull up uh, Cyrex Apple. Um, he, got, he got an Apple watch now on YouTube. This is this That's is where nice. we at. Yeah. This is where we at with Cyrex now. And then we'll be up out of here. But yeah. <laughs> Nigga, please. I'm rocking a four hundred dollar smartwatch. What are you rocking?
Jesus Christ, dude. Your grandmother bought that for you. Your grandmother bought that for you. You're a classless hack, bro. You got no class. You got no swag or style, bro. I'm Cyrax, aka DJ Otak. Who the fuck are you? A fat piece of shit. Nobody without me. That's who. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right. So that's what we had with Cyrex, Dude, man. Leave him alone, bro. <laughs> leave him alone. He's pumped. He got an Apple Watch. He didn't have to be a dick about it, though. He was mean about it. He got it. It's a fake Apple Watch, too. He don't even got an iPhone. Don't do that to him, dude. That's a real Apple Watch. It's not. It's fake. Don't tell we him figured it's it fake. out. He don't even got an iPhone. Just you let can't him have use it, an Apple Watch without an iPhone. All right, man. Let him have it. <laughs> let him Why have it. Why are you taking Just it? Let him rock. Let him say it's $400. He's saying, nigga. I, that, come on, dude. He's allowed to. All right. <laughs> Look at it. He's getting. Come on. I love, well, I don't love Cyrex. I love King Cobra. Part two, man, uh, yeah, recently King Cobra said he down to do the boxing match. He said he'll fuck Cyrex up. And, um, uh, Who's King Cobra? Oh, uh, man, you want to go down this rabbit hole? King Cobra be drunk as fuck, man, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, you two. There you go. This is the latest video right here. We have a mixture of 360 double chocolate vodka. Ooh. <sighs> But what's this? We also have two shooters of Kinky Pink mixed with a chocolate buzz ball. What? <laughs> what is it? You, you make That's drink combos, <laughs> man. He's the Dr. illest. Cobras, cheers. Look. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck. Mm. You don't even know that drink combo. <laughs> oh, is it good? Cheers to my album selling out. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's so my wait, dog. he just gets fucked up on his YouTube? Man, King Cobra goes down, bro. It's a long rabbit hole. You can go uh, down here. This is my boy. This He's the gothic, sexy do bad this. boy. <laughs> he does. Yeah, yeah. You I don't right? want to be in this. Yeah. <laughs> this is not good stuff. That's where. See, that's where, see, we always, we end up here every time on this podcast where they talk about, this is my YouTube algorithm. Yeah. This is what's going on in my life. Cyrax and fucking King And Cobra. you're trying to get them to box. Yeah, I'm trying to get them to box, yeah. Low-cow boxing. <laughs> One of them's going to pass away, dude. Cyrax is going to fuck it. I mean, uh, King Cobra, fuck Cyrax up, man. That's on the set. I don't know. King Cobra's kind of big, though. I feel like. Oh, really? I don't know about, but man, I don't ever want to meet King Cobra in real life. Because the hygiene thing, man. It's yeah, just... which room would you rather s spend the night in? Ooh. Cyrax going to you, though. No, neither of them are there. You just got to live in their house. Oh, I King Cobras. Yeah? Yeah, King Cobras. I ain't fucking with, I with Sally and them. <laughs> I ain't fucking with Sally and the head, man. You know what I'm saying? Up at that motherfucker, man. Niggas calling the phone all night, trolling and doing all kind of shit. Oh, yeah, man. Niggas keep sending them um, sauce sandwiches, too. That, that, that's that been a reoccurring thing. Sauce? So what they do is like that's how we get drinks and all that shit. So what they would do is uh they 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 send them Uber Eats, but they would order a Subway sandwich with just like with mayonnaise, all the sauces, all the, just the vinegars. The, <laughs> look, here it go. But to yeah, him, it's a come up. He like y'all sending me free food. I'm gonna eat it. Blacked out on the horrific shit. Look. That's hilarious. Red wine, vinegar, yellow mustard, honey mustard sauce, creamy sriracha, buffalo sauce. Sweet onion oh This guy must be sauce. so sick all the time. All the time, <laughs> dude. He don't be streaming for days at a time. Yeah, I'm like, I know he fucked he's up. He's so oh, sick, dude. Subway makes good sandwiches. Fuck Jared Fogler. Okay, all right. <laughs> Look at this sloppy mess, YouTube. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga eating a sauce sandwich. Oh, 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 and loving it. Oh, oh my god. He got cobra to eat his vegetables. Oh. 
Right, thanks for the free sub, asshole. Thanks for the free sub, asshole. You thought you got me. You thought you this got This shit's me. good. He think he won every yeah. time, man. <laughs> All right, man. We have got to get up out of here, man. Thank y'all motherfuckers for joining us, man. Thank you, Yo, Shane. Thank Good, you, man. bro. You're, You're the, the man. I would say you one of the funniest motherfuckers I know, man. And Thanks, bro. It's an honor for you to come through and fuck with us, man. I know everybody going to be excited you here, man. So, yeah, man. Shouts out. Come to a fucking... spot tonight. Come do stand-up, bro. I got my homie JPEG Mafia in town. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. He's probably, um, yeah, so... I don't know. It depends on CIE. Yeah, I don't know we if I want to be working Danny Brown and his... JPEG Mafia in, the... <laughs> in my show. But no, no, I went up. No, I'm down to come see you though. Come tonight. All Where right, you cool. at? You at the uh... Uh, Cap City? Yeah, 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 that's not too far. I'm uh, yeah. I mean, my girl want to come. She want to see you. So let me know. It depends on what. I... But yeah, I'm. We keep it posted. But yeah, shout out to y'all motherfuckers. Love y'all motherfuckers. Wild Me Studios. Hey, peace, peace and love, motherfuckers. I'm out. Oh,